Hello crew, today I'm going to show you a redstone robot in Minecraft. I still have to take a screenshot. But here's the on and off switch. And now it's shooting arrows. And here's the day slash night switch. It'll permanently be what you switch it to. Because as you can see the moon always goes back here once it goes forward a bit so it'll always stay like this but i like having it on day so that's why i'll keep it on and then these arrows come from the um robot right here which has a creeper inside not actually a creeper it's an r stand with head and you probably hear the piston moving you're close there but here you don't and here you could easily turn it off And then you can collect the arrows. Now I made these two targets for both of the um, dispensers which shoot the arrows. Make it easier. So I'm gonna go right here. And here's what's like on the back of it. So here's the robot first of all. Really simple. This is a really simple robot. And you guys can make it by yourself. So I'm just going to show you how I made it. And then the redstone goes from right there. I'm going to show you how it turns on and off. And I need these because there's a lot of bats and they're annoying. Okay, then here's this. And the clock is always on because it's in the spawn chunk. And when you turn that on, it's going to open this. So then the redstone signal will have it going through here like a clock. And it'll continue. And then I'll go here. And I'll go through there. And then I'm going to show you what happens when it gets there. And then here is where it comes up from. And then it goes into both of these pillars. Which then go up and power that piston right there. Which pushes the redstone block into the dispensers which shoot the arrows. And then I just put an armor stand here and I enabled um, hands to be sewing. I'll have the command for that in the description. And I added this. And then I added the sky behind him so it'll look kind of nice like this. Because if this was all locked up. Because this isn't really for the map. I decided to add it anyways because I have it outside. But this was supposed to be originally like locked up inside somewhere. And then that could be like maybe over there. And this would be like a wall. That would look pretty cool. But I just want to show you guys how to make it. And then you have those going in from there and powering up both sides. And then it goes from there. And you saw the redstone. It's really simple. So now I'm going to show you the redstone for this. And there are these on both sides with the half slab right there. Because I need it um, for this to work. It's also right here. For both of the connections. You don't have to do this but I wanted to make it have these type of pillars. So then you go down here. And right now it's currently powered. Because then this is a really simple circuit. Because I have it going to this, so this is off. But when this one when that turns off, this will turn off. Which will make this turn off. So then this signal can't get here. But then when this is off, this will automatically turn on. And then this will go here. And I'll have this signal. And here I have set time 19,000. That's for the night and 5,000 for day. And then it goes in with this simple clock and full text here into a repeater. Here into a repeater like this. And when it switches, because for example, if I was to turn this off, it's now night, as you saw. Now it's day. And I'll show you what I mean. See, now nothing's going into here. But now it's going into here. And it comes from this torch. Because it's but this is pairing the torch, which makes it unpaired. It's really simple, and that's what I did on both sides. And then to build the robot, you can do any one of you, any design you like. I just made it be really simple. I made it look kind of robotic, and then I just put him in here with a couple of levers and this. And this is really simple. I'm working on a more complicated one. And if you want to download for this world, let me know because this is the world I make all my redstone creations. 
So thanks for watching and join the crew by subscribing and like the video and share this video with your friends. Once I reach 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So subscribe for a giveaway. Thanks for watching.